160 years here at First A.B. This church is standing for 160 years. Let your y'all stand to your feet. Let your God the honor, glory, and praise belong to you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. 160 years, and we're still here. Amen. 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 Y'all go ahead and take your seat. First, give it honor to the Spirit of Christ, who is the head of the church, who Pastor Dawson and Brother Lady Dawson, to my wife, to my back, all some members of the village of friends. Amen. Certainly, the great pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. We getting ready to celebrate our 160th church anniversary here at the crossroad at First AB Missionary Baptist Church, the historic First AB Missionary Baptist Church. <laughs> Hallelujah! Glory be to God. Our theme says, we still have joy. No matter what we have been through, over the hills and through the mountains, all in the plains and the valley, we still have joy. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're going to be not for a long time. We're going to move over to the program. Amen. So first, we're going to start over with a word of prayer. Let us bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, by the hands of our Father. Thank you, Lord, for a day we've never seen before. We thank you, Lord, for 160 years being here at First Safety Mission at Baptist Church. We thank you, Lord, for last night sleeping our early night this morning. You touched us with the bread of love, Father. You gave us our own due time, and we say thank you. You allowed us, Father, to put on our own clothes this morning and feed our own self. We say thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for just life, help, and strength. Thank you for bringing us to the house of worship, safe and sound. We ask you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, bless those that have traveled and down the dangerous highway, they'll be able to reach their destination safe and sound. Lord, we have some families that are going through bereavement right now. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to comfort them, Father, in a time of bereavement, Lord. Give them the strength they need to make it day by day. Lord, we have some sick and shedding, some in the house for the rest of home, the bound sick at home. Touch, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your finger, love, and rhythm on the sick bed, have them read out, Father, and still can depend on you. Lord, we also have some that are straight away from your wayside, Lord. Lord, have them read out, Father, they call upon your holy and righteous name with arms and sincere prayer. They can call on you and you will make everything all right for them, Lord. Bless those that are behind prison wall to hear your holy word behind those walls. And we act the Father for our government of leaders, Lord. Help them to read out for the love of the frail level, Father. They must work together, Lord, and read out without you. They can do nothing. Lord, we ask you to straighten us out we are weak. Fill us up, Lord. We are about to be torn down, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We need you, and we cannot make it in this world without you, Father. Bless the man of God, but he prayed for your holy word under the anointing and power of the Holy Ghost. Bless us with a word from on high, Father. Bless, Father, our prayers and worship leaders, Father, to sing under your anointing and power of the Holy Ghost. Bless these musicians, Father, with your holy anointing, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you once again for allowing us to come together to live up praise to your holy and righteous name. This is your servant prayer, Lord, in your son. Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, this master of ceremony, Richard L. Bad and asked me. Scripture says, Psalm 16 and 11, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasure evermore. Praise the word for Deacon Jeffrey West. Jimmy Stewart, so the Andy Atkins, and Theo Brown. Amen? Amen. 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 All right, let's give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. You want to give a true praise? Give him the highest praise on the day. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, you're just thanking God for allowing us to be here one more day. Amen. Hallelujah, we just give God thanks. We give him the honor, the glory, and the praise on today. And we came in to praise the Lord on today. We didn't come in to pity pack. We, this building has been here for 160 years, amen? amen? Amen, 160 years. And a lot of folks who are here have been through some things. The folks who have gone have been through some things. But to God be the glory, amen? We are here, we are alive, and we can raise our hands and say we made it, amen? amen. Y'all know y'all made it on today? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Took on 
go ahead and just start a song off for me. Because we just came here to pray the Lord on today. To give the Lord a hand clap of praise, stop your feet, wave your hand, lift up your voices, and give the Lord some praise on today. So as I always tell everybody in this building, I ain't coming to, to pray to by myself. I came to pray on you, 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 and all of you, and give God his glory. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Or y'all gonna be quiet on me today? Y'all be quiet on me today? But that's all right. Y'all pray the Lord as the Lord has put it in you to pray with him. Amen. And let's go ahead and have some church. Hallelujah. Well, come on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Like the precious oil upon the head, yeah. 
yeah. running down on the beard of Aaron. Mm -hmm. Running down the edge of his garment. Yeah. It's like the dew of Hermon descending upon Mount Zion, the mountain of Zion. For there is the Lord commanding the blessing, life forevermore. I read for you Psalms 133 in its entirety. May the reading of these words be a blessing to your heart. Amen. At this time, since our theater is going to use a little song, the simply said, bow down and worship him. We have said it time and time again, and the Lord truly deserves our praise. He truly deserves our worship. Amen. And he has created us all with our own individual styles of doing things, our own, our own ways of doing things. He has given us free will to praise him as we see fit, but the main thing is to praise and bow down and worship him because he has been so good. So good. So good to all of us. Amen. They said we had 10,000 tongues. We could not praise them enough. Hallelujah. They said it's like, Bob, shut up in your home when you think about the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I feel Go ahead and the Lord and you as you are with Jesus.
Father God, continue to show us your glory, God. Continue to show us your glory, God. Continue to show us your glory, God. Continue to show us, God, that we can do the thing you have us to do, God. And we give you praise, God, because you are so much worthy, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Father God, because Lord God was a battle match to be going on, but we're going to shout right now, God. Because we're going to praise you, and we're going to keep on praising the name of the Lord and proclaiming the name of the Lord throughout the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, God, we thank you. Hallelujah, God, you have been just so good to us, God. Woo. We cannot count that how many times we have brought us over the hills and the mountains, of God. How many times you have pulled us through, Father God. Those situations, Father God, that have tried to attack us. And we may not have even show witness to, Father God. You have been there and you have protected us, God, from danger yes. and yes. and unseen, God. Yes. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. God, we are going to pray right now, God, we're going to all going to read family out there, God. Yeah, yeah. Somebody out there is going through something like yeah, that, God. So yeah. we ask right now that you will be in the midst of all situations, uh, God. Yeah. In the midst of sickness uh, right now. Sugar uh, yeah. diabetes right now, if he's there, he will. Oh, hallelujah. Hot condition, Father God. They got healed right now, Father God. Father God, I'm going to write it right now. We're taking healing right now in the name of Jesus right now. And we claim it and we proclaim your name and we all thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. We give you a praise, Father God. And we cannot just say how many times, God, that we know that you're worthy of it. We thank you. And we praise you. And we got to say, God, right now we love you, Father. We show up to love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. We love you. I love you, Jesus. Oh, I worship you. 
giving God all the honor, glory, and praise that is due to Him. It ain't about you, it ain't about me, but it's all about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We still have joy. Next we have on our program, the channel of the Love Prayer. Father, let me welcome my sister Vanessa Brown. Amen. Amen. And ask the congregation to join in the chanting of the Lord's Prayer. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Amen. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Amen. Pastor Dawson, Minister Barrett, and all the members here at First African Missionary Baptist Church want you to do just that. Love God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. Amen. This is our 160th church anniversary, you, and we are truly blessed. Amen. And we are blessed and happy to welcome all our family and friends here today. We welcome you, our friends and family, to join us, lifting up the name of God, giving them praise, and giving them honor. Yeah, yeah. We welcome you, family and friends, to join us and be on one accord as we love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is our 160th church anniversary. God's been good to us, and we are truly thankful. But we also want to welcome you all to not just this service, but come to our Sunday service at 10 o'clock every Sunday. We want you to feel welcome here at First African Missionary Baptist Church to join us and listen to the word of God here. You are always welcome. Amen. You're welcome now, Sister Brown. Amen. Amen. Let me have a congregational hymn. I still have joy. Follow that tribute to the father of our sister, Nakia Brown. Amen. And now, Lord, please. Amen. Amen. Congregational hymn, I still have joy. Let us all sing together in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
we honor and praise for blessing us and allowing us to experience another year on the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Let us reflect in our minds back to the year of our Lord, 1861, when God looked beyond the faults of former enslaved people and supplied their need. He brought them out of bondage and removed the shackles from their feet, body and mind, as he has prepared them for a journey that has continued for over 200 years. The journey for liberty and freedom didn't end, it continues. Free to think, love, live, marry, raise a family, own property, and worship God freely. Yeah. They moved their beliefs and established First African Baptist Church, later named First African Missionary Baptist Church. Let us reflect briefly on the church's dynamic history. Oh, yeah. The history of First African Baptist Church and its beginning in the North Newport Baptist Church, founded in 1809 in Sunbury. Both black and white members attended the North Newport. In 1818, the North Newport Church purchased this present site and erected a church composed of both black and white members with a, with a balcony for the enslaved members. The last white pastor was the Reverend Joshua S. Law, who died in 1853. A monument was erected in his honor and stands on the church grounds. Amen. In 1854, the North Port, the North Newport Church moved to Wolfowville and the blacks continued to worship in the old building continue, continue to use the church. In 1861, our forefathers organized and formed First African Baptist Church. On July 20th, 1898, the North Newport Church sold the building and the property to Deacon A.M. McIver on behalf of the church for $225 Reverend Charles Skin was the first pastor, and Reverend H.C. Houston was the second pastor of this great church. In 1928, First African Baptist donated a piece of its property to the Liberty County Board of Education on which a school was built, known as Liberty County Training School, later named Riceboro Elementary. In 1996, in honor of the church's history, the Liberty County Historical Society erected a marker on the grounds to show the church as the oldest black church in Liberty County. Amen. The church supports many ministries, home mission, pastor's aid, senior choir, youth and male choirs, ushers Sunday ushers, Sunday school, and hospitality. The church also supports local, national, and foreign projects. Presently, the church members have embarked on a mission to build an annex and refurbish the former Riceboro Elementary School building across the street. Although we had to close our church doors in the month of March 2020, we continue to worship using our visual class, viral class, I'm sorry, viral platform. We began, we began driving services in July of 2020 and continue until April 2021. Amen. God is good and he still sits on the throne. Amen. Our pastor is Dr. Neil Dawson. Our assistant pastors are 
Minister Derek Smoke and Elder Richard Barrett, and our chairman is Deacon David West. Amen. Deacon Louis Lauder is the assistant chairman. Sister Betty Frazier is the church clerk. Amen. 2021 updates. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we continue to hold drive-in worship service on the church grounds and at Riceboro Community Center campus. The name of the Riceboro School was changed from Riceboro Elementary to the Partial Community Center. Our 2021 high school graduates <coughs> are Devon K. Cheney and Antonio James. And our college graduates, graduates are uh, Sister George Brown and Sister Shaniqua Mangle. One member restored membership by restoration, one joined by Christian experience. Sister Sarah Carter retired as a new musician for the senior choir after 25 years of service. Woo. We would like to take a moment to remember our daily departed members who have gone on to glory to be with the Lord since our last anniversary. We have beautiful flowers on the pulpit, uh, which we would like to dedicate to our deceased members. Sister Patricia Wilkins, brother Kenny, brother William Kenny, brother Jerome Brown, and brother Christopher Brown. In our hearts, by Rose M. De Leon. We thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and days before that too. We think of you in silence. We often speak your name. Now all we have are memories, and you picture in a frame. Your memory is our keepsake, with which we'll never part. God has you in his keeping. We have you in our heart. Would you please bow your head in a moment of silence? Amen. Down through the years, God has truly been good to us. He has blessed us and has kept us through COVID-19 pandemic. God is good and he still sits on the throne. We want to thank the historical First African Missionary Baptist family and the community for their support through the years as we continue to pray for God's blessing upon each of you. Be blessed and keep the faith. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thanks, Sister. Ronald T. for the history and the memorial. Next, we're going to have a selection by Sister Sarah Carr. Amen. Follow that. You can hear from him. From Captain Neil Dawson and now, amen. amen. Well, good morning, family. Good morning. It's good to be in the corner once more time. I want to thank everyone who has completed the top of first day because that is too much love. Dear Carter, since his love, he's doing much better. Thank God for the prayer of the saints. Amen. This is just another day that the Lord has kept Just another day. Oh. 
Just another day. He kept me. Now we shall not say. Come on, give Sister Carla. Thank you. Good to have her with us today. Bring back so many good memories. And we pray all is well with you, Ethan Carl, my friend. So good to see you. We love you, girl. Give God glory. Come on, give God some praise. You may take your seats. I feel like the sermon's already been preached.
Well, then now allow me to go down to the storehouse just for a little while, that I may break the bread of life with these thou people. Is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. I was working on some things and I was getting so deep. And I said, hold up. I was crying to God. I said, hold up now. This is a celebration. <laughs> I was thinking about all the things we've been through as a people. And now it seems like every time we take a step forward, they go to the legislative house. All the things God allowed us to experience as free men and women. What everybody else gets, they go to the legislative house and undo our freedom. Y'all gonna pray with me. <laughs> see, see, your 160th anniversary cannot be an ordinary anniversary. Just the other day, I saw a woman of African American descent introduce a president who signed into law a holiday called Juneteenth. Just the other day. And I listened to her explain how two years prior, the Emancipation Proclamation was signed by Abraham Lincoln. But yet, they are always adversaries to righteousness and justice. And those adversaries withheld the legislation and the knowledge of it from some folk in Texas, Galveston, Texas. And it took a whole two years. Well, we here, we celebrate some things. We celebrate the Emancipation Proclamation on watch night. December 31st, uh, every year for over a hundred years we have celebrated that. But then we must understand until all of us are free, none of us are free. And now there is a national, a federal holiday that not only celebrates Watch night in the Emancipation Proclamation. But it separates those who were left out, those who the truth was hidden from for two years. So we now all must celebrate. Put your hands up now. Juneteenth. We all must celebrate. And that's June 19th. The first celebration was just this week, yes, prior to our anniversary. Now, this is the news I want you to understand. There were, in 1861, Sister Rouch, she said there were some enslaved folks in the valley. Yes, it was our people. Yes, and later, they were able to occupy this church themselves to have a white pastor, but also has some responsibilities in the house of the Lord, meaning that they were no longer in the bathroom. It's something to celebrate. Yes, but they were now a part of the deacon board. Yeah. They were part of the missionary board. Yeah. They were part of the folk who funded the church. That's what we celebrate today. Amen. We celebrate all that we have come through. Yes, yes. But yet, least we forget. Everything we accomplish and we don't go to the pole, they will take it right back over. 
they will take it away. And so don't think that you were right. Don't think that everything is going your way while you are sleeping. They are in the back room making up lies and thinking of ways to discredit you as a human being. But I still got you. So, I want to acknowledge the ushers. I thank you, ushers. Come on, give them a hand. Thank you, ushers. Beautiful job. I want to thank our musicians. Amen. Our praise and worship team. Our officers. Our deaconess. Amen. Sister Barrett, we thank God for you today. First lady in the afternoon, she said, keep her in prayer. Amen. Amen. Keep her lifted up. We all got some battles. Keep her lifted up. I thank God for it. To all my brothers, happy Father's Day. Amen. Happy Father's Day. I pray that what I say today will strengthen you as fathers. I pray that what I say today will strengthen you as mothers. I pray that what I say today will strengthen you as citizens of this nation and what I say today will strengthen you as believers in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Listen, I want you to go with me now. Hallelujah to the book of Psalms. What better to celebrate having joy than a song? A song is, is a song of praise mm. unto your God. Well, well. Not only for what he's done, but what he's doing and what he's going to do. Right. And so the Lord sent me to Psalm 16. Amen. Verses 8 through 11. And when you get it, let it lift you from the seats and, 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 and then I'll be out of your way with uh, you getting up. Amen. Unless the Holy Ghost is moving. Come on, somebody. Amen. Are you with me? Psalms 16, verses 8 through 11. I pulled out the big. Bible. I pulled out the church's Bible this morning. Yeah. I felt like on the anniversary, and I got things on my phone, but I just felt like for all the pastors that have come before me, before me if they haven't read out of it, they touched it, they moved it out of the way, they, they handled the word of God. And I wanted them to be with me on this 160th anniversary. So I pulled up the big fight this morning. Ain't that good? Thank you, Lord. And it reads this way. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad. And my glory rejoices. This is a time of celebration. He is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad. Therefore, my heart is glad. And my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. They won't talk about hell no more. Neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is what? Fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures, get this word, forevermore. Amen. May the Lord bless the readers and doers of his holy word.
word. Subject this morning, we made it over because of our God, and we still have choice. We made it over because of our God, and we still have Job. We made it over because of three things. Three things. In this scripture, the psalmist reveals those three things that helped us to make it over. We are an example to the world. Israel was supposed to be an example to the world for their God. Over the history of Israel, they denied their God and they served other gods. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I remember Jesus told them that, that they needed to be set free. And they said, we have never been enslaved by no man. But Jesus said, you missing the point. But you have been enslaved because your forefathers were enslaved in Egypt. But how soon we forget how far the Lord has brought us when he brings us out. But he said, you are enslaved to sin. Okay. There are two things that we battle constantly as African Americans in America. Mm -hmm. That is having freedoms to be human beings mm -hmm. and having freedom to overcome the devil and sin. So I want to show you, even in the battle, everything we've been through, our people have been lynched and they have no federal lynch law. Just the other day, we saw a young man as they kneeled on his neck for, uh, I forgot how long. Eight what? Eight forty-six. Eight minutes and forty-six seconds. Knocked out his life. He did not resist. There were several people on him. How could he resist? And they act like it was nothing. Right there in Brunswick, young man jogging in a neighborhood, chased down not only by one man, chased down by three men. One man filmed, one father and one son. And they took his life. And they didn't charge them for months. Like his life didn't even matter. And now we got a movement called Black Lives Matters. And then you got people come up talking about all lives matter. That's a whole other song. God here allows the to print some words that tell us how we still have joy. Amen. Some young people can't understand. They, they think we're weak. They think we're soft. Yeah. They think we are not respectful. That we aren't genuine. But when you've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Your experiences allow you to have patience to show them the right way. We can pick up arms, but Jesus said, I got legions of angels. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? He said, I can summon legions of angels. When they came after Jesus, he said, I can summon legions of angels if I wanted to. He said, but if you live by the soul, and so we found another way 
nonviolent protest. And it takes time and experiences to understand how it works. But we still have joy because, first of all, God is our strength. Y'all in front of me? Psalm 6, 1 and 3 said, with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. The word tells us in Psalm 61 and 3, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. Also, we see his strength in our lives in Psalms 28 and 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. When we keep our eyes focused on the Lord, he is always with us. Yeah. Regardless of the battles that we're facing, if we look to the heat, right. I wish I had somebody. Yeah. From whence all of our help comes from. All our help comes from the Lord. Regardless of the battles that we may be facing, he is our strength. With him by our side, we will not be shaken. We can rest in complete assurance that he is with us. Come on, somebody. In all situations, God is good and worthy to be praised. The second thing that has allowed us to make it over and still have joy is because we know the source yeah. of our joy. Yeah. 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 It's a beauty of fleeting. Y'all don't hear me. Money come. Money come. Yeah. But the Lord right, say, I will never leave you. No. I will never forsake you. Yeah. If you go to the depths of hell, come on, somebody, I'll be right there with you. He gives us joy yeah. and faith. Yeah. Verse 9 says, Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see the case. As we just saw in the scripture, we will have joy and peace, and we can rest when our eyes are focused on God. He takes delight in us and views us as his perfect and most beautiful creation. He is faithful to us and is always with us. He said we were made in this likeness. I want you to know how special you are, God. You were made in this likeness and its image. Are you going to pray for me? Yeah. We see his goodness in Zephaniah 3 and 17 that says, The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you. Come on, somebody. But will rejoice over you with sin. Yes, sir. And then third. And finally, we made it over because of our God. And we still have joy. How do we still have joy when we don't know what tomorrow brings? They doing some stuff at the Capitol, but we're going to work that out. Y'all pray with me? They, they, they trying to downplay what happened on January 6th. But he don't work. I said we, but he don't work. Can I, can I be real with you? They're trying to downplay what happened on January 6th, but he will work it out. You don't have to be stressed. You don't have to have anxiety. All you got to do is pray. Jesus said men should always pray and thank not. Just pray. I'm about to let you go. So the third thing 
is he gives us direction and he gives us eternal pleasure. I remember being in the world and I, I thought pleasure was. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, I, I thought pleasure was this. Uh, I'm being nice today. I thought pleasure was that. But when I met Jesus, never, never, never had another feeling. Never had. The chill pops on me. <laughs> oh, oh, through my whole body. Come on, Never felt like that before. Yeah. That there's something about knowing Jesus yes, yes, yes. that gives you direction, yes. gives you eternal pleasure. Yes, yes. He said in the scripture, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy mm -hmm. in your presence, yeah, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Yeah. What a way for them to end this passage. Yeah. By keeping our eyes on the Lord. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We can know the path of life. Yeah. His word. Oh, no, no. 
in his nostrils. We thank God for what he's doing right now. Yeah, yeah, we look, we look. And we see blessings over every family oh, yeah. that's been represented over these 160 oh, yeah. years. That's a long time. Yeah. While our forefathers were yet slaves, they sought their God. They were free in the spirit. Somewhere it says that the word of God cannot be bound. Can't be bound. It'll penetrate any prison. It'll penetrate any foxhole. Come on, somebody. It cannot be bound. Come on, give God some praise one more time. We're going to go ahead and go into church government and then our holy communion. Church government, holy communion. word of the Lord. For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto me. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. 
When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take me, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do he as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till it come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. Yes, sir. And so let him eat of that bread and drink. On this special occasion, I'm going to ask Elder Barrett if he will bless this bread and bless this wine and petition God that he will bless us as well. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. Father, I'm here to come to Asking you, Lord, to forgive us our sins. Yes. Lord, you know each and one of our hearts. Yes, sir. Wish, Lord, to prepare us for your last supper. Yes. Yes, Lord, to bless this bread that represents your body. Mm -hmm. Turn it from a spirit, uh, call you to a spirit. Yes. 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 yes, yes. And the fruit of the vine, Lord, represents your blood you shed on Calvary. Yes, yes, sir. Change the law from calling you to a spirit. Mm -hmm. Bless each and every one of us, Lord.
Let us say amen. 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 One more time for the Holy Ghost. Amen. amen. We give him glory, we give him honor, we give him praise. He is truly worthy to be praised. Amen.
In Christ's name we pray. And everyone say, Amen. Amen. As for me, As for me in, my house, in my house, we will, we will serve the Lord. Happy anniversary, first day, me! Father God, we ask God that you would bless the seed that we're about to receive, God. We also, God, ask that you would bless the hands that have prepared the food, God. Continue to bless us in this church and may the food be used for purposes that you have to be used for. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh. We're going to bless the offering. Father, we thank you for what has been given, what will be given. We pray, God, that it will be used for the upbuilding of the kingdom and that it will go to the account of the giver. In Christ's name we pray and thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.